We begin with a warning about a certain vine. Experts say it can damage your home. Channel 5 Stephen Sarabia has more on what you need to know. The cat's claw vine is native to Central and South America, and once it claws onto something, it has a tough time letting go. It's an unwelcome thorn inside of this natural habitat. It's a plant that, that it, can, it can create a, a huge um, uh, environmental impact. The cat's claw vine has made its home in the Estero Llano Grande Park in Weslaco. Here, Jose Oribe helps to maintain the invasive vine, which is killing most of the native plants. The population of these, um, of these vine that has kind of control the, the growing of native vegetation. While it's not originally from here, the cat's claw vine can grow in almost any condition. And what it does is it just either branches along the ground or it grows up trees or walls or anything that it, it, can, it, it can cover. These guys really live up to their name. Along the vine, they have these barbs in the shape of claws that allow them to attach to almost any surface. It can also spread quickly. To give you an idea, this entire tree you're seeing is completely covered in the vine. Melissa Jones with Texas Parks and Wildlife says it can even grow on homes. For us, we uh, try to kill it and not rip it off the trees because it, can, it could hurt the tree itself if you pull it off. So I would think that for your roof or for your house as well, if you would pull that off, it could damage the house. To top it all off, the vine doesn't die off easily. Aribe says they have to treat it multiple times in the spring and fall just to keep it from rooting deeper into the park. He says the best method to take care of the vine without causing damage is to cut it and use herbicide. Texas Parks and Wildlife says there are cases of people buying this plant for their yard or garden. They highly urge against this as even if you check on it regularly, it can still grow out of control. In the Channel 5 Newsroom, Stephen Sarabia, Channel 5 News, Sunday at 1030.